The I observable of T and I observer of T interfaces were included in the .NET Framework version 4. These interfaces are present in the MS Corlib assembly within the system namespace. And the subscribe method on the I observable of T, as we've seen in the previous demos, accepts an instance of a class that implements I observer of T. This means we have to create a class that implements I observer of T every time we want to call subscribe. This seems like a huge overhead, a lot of typing when all you want to do is attach a handler for on next or on error or on completed or a variation or combination of these. So the system.reactive.core assembly that you get when you download system.reactive, the NuGet package, Within its system namespace, there are a couple of extension methods on the iObservable of T that overload the subscribe method. These overloads allow us to pass in only the lambdas for on next, on error, or on completed, instead of having to create a whole new implementation of iObserver of T. And this is the preferred method of subscribing to an observable. So in this example, I've already got the system namespace up there with the using statement on the top. Instead of creating a class that implements iObserver of T, I'm simply going to use one of the overloads of the subscribe method that accepts the three lambdas. The rest of the example is exactly the same as the previous one. I've removed the statements that print the current thread ID though. And if we run this program, we'll see that this gives us the same output.